been waiting for you. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. They spoke to Bill about a job. Needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And... What about board and their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so? Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... <laughs> It's going to hell! 
How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> oh. Well, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Sean has been killed. His head shot half off in an ambush. Still no Confederate gold, but a shitload of trouble. Arthur, have you seen the boy? Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Okay, let's go get that boy back.
They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. And if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! First Sean, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now! You inbred trash! Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... Jack! 
and find that Braithwaite woman! Jack! Jack, can you hear me? Get in there! We have to find Jack! Jack, you in here? Jack? Oh, shit! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about down? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here? We searched everywhere, Dutch. You got that one? Uh, I guess 
guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here! <laughs> <laughs> I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go! Arthur, come on! What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? The boy will be fine, but well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. 
It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? Ain't that fine. <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake. All of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot off of Follow me. I know the way. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Mosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean. Mac, Davy, Jenny, and for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. Anyway, you were saying? Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, 
When I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now, and this spot we're going to, it's close to San Denis. As soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. Sure, this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Check the house. You keep watch out here. Some of the coward like you. The bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpet beggars, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. You're the one hiding, I mean. Jesus. Trash maggot. Come on. How's it looking up there? Well, I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? You coming? Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. 
Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Okay, I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You gonna meet up with the caravan, guide them in. All right, see you soon. We got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. Dodge? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. that girl all I've got going on and she wants to talk everything okay with you two I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea so where are we going to take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world San Denis I keep hearing about according to the map the road up this way should lead us right in there all right I guess this day ain't over yet not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places. Maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first.
Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. You should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him. I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's hey, why can we I get a drink born here? and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> excuse yeah, me. Yeah, they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I I seem to have some very impatient customers. I now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No. Leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss, big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. <laughs> You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Oh, and friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Hornady. 
Morning, my friend. How's things? Yeah, pretty good. I reckon. What are you looking at, boy? I should fine you for saying that. Okay, okay. Keep your hair on. <sighs> Fool. the craze so you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times yes and then after 24 men find any married person male or female wearing a wedding ring turn that ring twice and then the next man you shake hands with will become your husband what nonsense there's some kids around here somewhere where are they easy tough guy they over there some manners wouldn't kill you. Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where does he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Here, come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you <laughs> little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. Ah, damn it. Cucumbers definitely a fruit. 
stands for win. Thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now, give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, <gasps> come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. journée, n'est-ce pas? Just wish today was over already. Je suis navré. You're the latest in a string of idiots I've encountered. Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire. Anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back.
I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Buenos dias. Gentlemen. Good morning, sir. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Oh. Morning, Arthur. Hey. Keeping everyone entertained? Well, I do my best. Morning, Mr. Morgan. You awake? You ain't out of it again, are you? I resent the accusation, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> You're sounding good. The one thing I cannot cook is air. So please, somebody, go hunting. 
come along. You guys, you're getting lazy. Good morning. Hello? Yes. It's getting pretty dire. Right, I'll see what I can do. We're gonna run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. Hello, Jose. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Hi, Trelawney. My lady. Good morning, Arthur. You look pissed off. <laughs> no more than usual. Morning to you. You managing not to kill Pearson? Only just. Hello. Good morning, Arthur. You all right, Molly? Bored? Well, there's plenty of work needs doing. Sorry, ain't much company right now. Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but uh, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <laughs> This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. It, okay.
Hosea? What's the latest on Jack? Still working on it. All right, well, I should be getting on. Thanks. You seem in a good mood. I do. Hello. Karen, Karen.
Easy. a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. You remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, sure, I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that dip. Someone's here, boy. Pop. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fish us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Hmm. Now where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Ah! I'll cut your damn head! Clean off! <laughs> Don't hurt me, all right? Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum. And that should cover it. Ain't you the good son. You should be proud of yourself. That's it, I told you! More here. That's it. Please go.
Luke, you got the money, go, won't you? Let's go, boy. Yep. Dumbass. Got some loan money. Put it in the box, Mr. Morgan. Will do. Well, I should get back to it. All right, Mr. Morgan. Arthur. Reverend. When are you gonna get your act together? I'm just minding my own business here. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? 
Not much, just these some slick little greasy-haired Europeans clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodoro. <laughs> that is a very steep woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. <laughs> John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute.
Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Rance. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Why are you pestering me? Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Yeah! <laughs> Slow it down! This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. I'm gonna check over here. And keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. Someone already cleaned this one out. I can't believe we're doing this. I know, but we won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Look at the size of these things. Corpses in this city live better than we do. I'll try this way. Hey there, boy. Come on, let's keep on. When my time comes, Arthur, make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. No 
First shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. Something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit. It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side. Dutch. Okay, fella. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Hey. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said. We'll just see where we're at once we've got Jack. took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Me. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, 
Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. Hey, boy. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teaches me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Really good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Passing you. All right. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Back him! Come on in here! <laughs> He's back, all right! <laughs> hey, make some room for John there. Come on! Are we celebrating or what? Woo! Yeah! Oh, 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 good to have you back, kid. Oh, we yeah. missed you. Hey, hey, how about a song, huh? Javier, oh, yeah. <laughs> play us away. 
De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Hey, Arthur, I left those arrows by your tent. Appreciate it. Kieran. Yeah, Arthur. How are you doing? This is going my way for once. Glad to hear it. Sure, be good now. Hey there, folks. Hey. How's it all going? I guess I'm fine. Well, how are things? Very well. Okay, good. Arthur? You must be starving, son. Let me get you something to eat. Thanks, Mama. Can I play a little? Of course you can. Well done, John. We couldn't have done it without Dutch and Arthur. The old guy. I'm very relieved. We all are. Yeah. Good shot, it was good. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Well, I'll let you guys okay, get reacquainted. Yes, indeed. Feels like we can move forward again. I hope so. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur. Have a little faith. Hey, folks. Thank you, John. I'm sorry if I was... Well, I was just worried sick. I know. It's okay. Eat that all up now, Jack. Okay, Mama. Sorry it ain't spaghetti. Get some drinks down, you. Live a little. I might have a couple. This is a party. Come on. All right, all right. Boring bastard. Clean through. So good to have you back. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. And to see a smile on your mama's face again. Absolutely. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. No stopping you, Karen. You better believe it. <laughs> Just save some for the rest of us. Let's leave him to play a minute. Welcome home, little Oh, Driscoll boy. Hello. How are you? Joining this outfit is the best thing I ever done. Good for you. You take care now, Arthur. Hey. Hey. Bill? Arthur? How are you holding up? Doing good. Good to hear. Okay. Hello, Miss O'Shea. Uh-huh. How are you doing? 
I'll be all right. All right. How are things? Okay. Ain't nobody ever gonna take him again. Hey, y'all. Hi, Arthur. So, how are you? Not bad. Maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him. It was only a favor to make you feel something out of nothing. It makes no difference. Make sure nothing makes a difference. Can't see how. Tide comes in, tide goes out. You was born, you die. In between, you do what you do. Hey, Ain't no good, ain't no bad, just done. Nine months from things now, that make you feel son. good or make you I feel sad. And just the length of time between being knee. born and, and dying, that's all to see. there that is. Ain't no old man judging man. Ain't no heaven. <laughs> and maybe there is damnation. But I think I know what that'll be like. And I'm gonna be right at home there. Oh, no, I'm okay. Thank you. I'll just That's it. Suit yourself, Dan. See it for what the hell it is. Don't you go riding Abigail up. I wouldn't dream of it. Just let her have this moment. There's no respect for you. Remember, oh, it's your fault Lord that boy went stage. missing. Pulling it wasn't about the I mean, I said that I'm sorry. Help yourself real lucky. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Yeah, good talking to you. Oh yes, I can see. There's a thieving line in 1849. All opposition they defy, so the people must root hog or die. She okay? Clearly not. It's getting very tiresome. Yeah, she seems pretty worked up. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then. Good times, Pearson. Uh-huh. I think we're gonna be okay, Mr. Morgan. See if you feel the same in the morning. You all right there, Mary Beth? Yeah, just watching it all. Go on, have another drink. It's a party after all. There he is, old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. What I tell you? Listen. All right, well, I should be getting on. Listen. Okay, Arthur. Faith, hi there. Faith is all that matters. Hi, Pearson. We had faith. And we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan. My friends. My loved ones. A plan. It is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place. And we are gonna find our own paradise. Our own heaven. Tahiti. Fiji, Australia, the real new world, not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has acted out its vengeance, vengeance on. 
We are gonna be free! Free. Yes, we are, Dutch! That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch. You're pretty fired up there. We are going to do this, Arthur. It ain't just talk. Gentlemen. Hello. Hello. How are you holding up? Fantastic. All day long on the prairies I ride. Not even a dog to trot by my side. Fire I kindle, cow chips around. My coffee I pour without fish around. Karen. I wash my pool and wipe Go to bed. Mr. Bell. Hello. How's it all going? Can't complain. <laughs> you fellas certainly know how to have fun, Mr. Arthur. Sure. If I had stayed with old Driscoll, you'd have probably killed me by now. You ever think of that? We'd have both died at Six Points Cabin. Yes, that's true. Oh, brother, I am really drunk. Anyway, I won't disturb you. I could talk to you. Mr. Smith, can I get you a libation of some kind? I think I'm all right. Back to sleep. 